we go, guys. First rod is out. Let's hope we get some bites soon. Right, there's a fish, there's a fish. Right away. Not been long at all. Oh, it was something. Here we go. First one of the day, guys. Oh, it just popped right off right at the freaking bank. Right in front of me, popped off. That's fine. Been about a minute. Cast back out there. They're definitely here, guys. Just got one right away. Got two rods out. Should be getting another bite any second now, so. Just bait up our third rod. Cast out and hopefully we'll catch them. And land them. <laughs> third rod is baited up. Launch this dude out there. Got a little sabiki on this one with some smaller hooks. On our tiny little trout rod. So this should uh, hopefully perform pretty well for us. Just gotta find a little nail to put this guy on. And uh, yeah, start waiting for these fish. There we go, and uh, shouldn't be too long before we have another hook up. All right, I'll see you guys then. Fish guys just had a fish. Wait for another bite. Dang it, I keep missing them. Again on the bottom hook, it looks like. Yeah, still got bait though. All right, just another missed bite though. Sucks, but next time I'm just gonna wait a little longer before I reel it in. Hopefully we actually can hook them. This thing just got nailed. Fish on, fish on, yeah. Knew it. With a hit like that, it was definitely not something super small. Hey, the rain almost stopped too, that's great. Oh. What the heck? This guy's so tiny. It's a catfish. What the heck? Not the target species today, guys, but um, not sure if this is a new species. It's a little tiny catfish. Um, not really good with catfish identification, so I'll identify it in editing, but is the first fish of the day. Oh, oh. We got an arsenal in here, too. So, see you, little caddy. Adios, dude. And we got a fish on here as well. A little sabiki rod. Two for one action today. Thought we did. I'm not feeling anything. Oh, yeah, he's still on, still on. A little guy, really tiny guy. Little tiny perch. Too small to eat, I think, yeah. Definitely not really eater size, but the bite just picked up. So these guys probably what's been stealing my bait this whole time. These little tiny perch. Um, gonna toss them some fish bite to help me aid with bait loss. So I don't lose any more bait to these little guys. But uh, yeah guys, second, our first perch of the day, second fish, second species. So see you bub. There he goes, all right. Will we catch some more bigger ones for dinner and uh, cast back out. Try to catch some uh, fish, see you guys then. Caught some fish so far, but I've already used probably half a dozen blood worms. I'm gonna fish in 20 minutes. These are actually the cold water fish bite alternative to the warm water fish bites, so it'll help make sure that the bait stays on longer. And we'll just slide it right on the end right here, just to hold that guy on there. Perfect, just like that. And we'll just get another blood worm. Do the same thing with the top. But this should hopefully help us really improve our hookup ratio. And uh, yeah. Oh, that guy just got big, big hit. Yeah, my little tiny rod just got freaking yoinked. You guys heard that drag in the background, maybe. Shoot, we're tip wrapped or something. Something big's pulling it. Dang, dude. I can't pull it in. I'm all freaking tied up with something. It's the biggest one of the day, though, for sure. Don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe it's a striper. Nah, it feels, feels a lot like a perch. Bottom sabiki looks like. Oh, no. Just a pretty decent perch. And tip wrap, so it really feels big. Just grab, oh, that's definitely a nice one, yeah. This 
swing them up here. There we go. There's the first eater of the day. Yeah, there we go, guys. Second perch of the day. Nice eater size. Just about to cast that rod out and drop it in the mud. So we catch them. Not too big. Probably a half pound, but toss them in there with the blood worms. And our little cooler is launch this dude out. And uh, hopefully catch some more big perch like that, guys. Dude, uh, another perfect eating size, perfect dude. It's a long one, not really super fat, but he's long. Gonna have a little fish fry tonight, beautiful, like eight inch right there. Awesome in the cooler. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Dang, dude. Oh, no, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on, dude. The bite is phenomenal. Heck yeah. This doesn't feel that big. <laughs> this is a catfish. <laughs> Freaking caddies, dude. Come on, guys. I don't got time for you. All right. Thanks for my blowing back, Mr. Catfish. Look at that little guy. Pretty cool looking fish. And uh, see you, dude. Slaying the fish out here to get, guys. The bite is just nonstop. A lot of times we've been doubling up. It's like the second time, third time, almost I've doubled up. So, yeah, just casting right in the middle of the channel, letting it sink down. Let's bait up this rod down here, and uh, hopefully we can catch some bigger perch, maybe some different species. But pretty content right now. It's been a pretty nice day. There's a fish. There's a fish. There we go. Not that bad. Doesn't look that bad at all, actually. I think it might be the biggest one of the day. Let's see. Hopefully it is pretty nice. Here we go. Let's see. Oh yeah. Biggest one of the day for sure. Look at that guys. That one does look pretty pregnant though actually right there by looking at the belly of it. So I am gonna let this one go guys just for the stock of fish. I mean I'm sure I'll catch another one. Hopefully a male, but this one does look like it has a little belly right there. Probably pretty pregnant, so um, yeah, I'll let her go. Hopefully she uh, gets out there, lays her eggs, and we got some more perch for years to come. All right, see you, girly. There she goes, all right. Bait back up, toss on some blood worm. See what we can catch out here. Hopefully some uh, bigger male perch. the rivers to spawn like this time of year too. Okay. We got hooked on another another line that got pulled the pole out the water and it was there. Ah. Uh, yeah it's weird I've never seen them here in this river before. I saw you walking over with I thought it was a huge perch. Yeah I got, I got, I got like two like eight inches too. Okay. He makes it he makes it. Alright. Yeah alright good luck. The dude came over here. He said he snagged. He snagged another dude's pole with the, that had that fish on it. I mean, that's happened to me before. I've caught my pole after losing it the day before. Um, and there was a white sucker on it, I believe. I don't know if you guys got a good look at that. If you could identify it for me, but that'd be crazy to catch out of here. I'd love to do that for sure. But uh, 
Yeah, we're just gonna bait back up. Just lost our blood worm. Had two hits on that rod and lost our bait. So. All right, guys. Just gonna keep on waiting. Got maybe 45 minutes left to fish and uh, hopefully we catch some fish. Hopefully catch some more, some bigger, and some new ones. See you guys then. Oh, just had a bite right now anyway. There's a fish. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Dang, just I got done talking to you guys. Just as I said, hopefully catch some more. Dang, it freaking ran like a tank and it's those tiny little perch. Yeah, this guy is too small too. Another little micro perch. See you, bud. That's about right there, juice. I really gotta start using up my blood burns. I'm a dog, you know that. Oh, that could be a fish. That, that's a fish. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a freaking huge something. What the heck? This might be a striper, guys. Might be a striper, I swear. Oh my God, it just inhaled it on the way in. Oh crap, we got another fish down there. This thing's monstrous, whatever it is though. Oh my god, it might be a striper. Oh, it is a striper. Right, we'll it. That's a nice dude. Get him up, there we go. Nice, dude. Oh guys, there we go. Striper right there. First one of the day, another species. And uh, yeah, let's let her go. See you, girl. I mean, guy. All right. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Well, it is ma'am. There she goes. All right, guys. Now we got another fish to deal with on here. Hopefully, it's on our striper. That dude just snapped my rig. Good thing I retied another one. What we got over here? Nothing. Nada. Someone took me on a huge run. You can see with all the slack line and just. Shredding me up. That striper though inhaled my hook on the way in, which was sick, but not what I wanted. So, wish I would have had time to take a picture with it, but I had to get to this rod, and she was already out of the water for, or well, he was already out of the water for a long time. But, all right, I'll launch that out there. There we go. All right, let's hope for some white suckers to come in or some big white perch. There's a fish. There's a freaking fish. That's definitely something nice. I've got our striper to be honest with you. Freaking inhale that. Not a striper. Big perch, I'm sure of it. Gotta be a perch or a catfish. Yeah, that's a nice perch. Whew. That's a big perch. That's what we came here for, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another pregnant one. See you guys, I, I think it's pregnant right here. You can see by the belly. It just is really bloated. I doubt there's that much food in here. And I mean, this perch, you know what? I'm gonna keep this one for the table, guys. Just to see, just to check my hypothesis, just to see if, if they are bloated, it means there's eggs. I mean, I don't be releasing perfectly good fish. There's another bite right there. So it's also doing the cooler. Let's see, we'll open it in a sec. But uh, yeah, another, Beautiful, thinner sized perch. So here's the mamba perch. Freaking big, juicy perch right here. So we're just gonna cut it open. Right here in the belly. Yeah, I was right. All right, so guys, you can see right here, all these little eggs. So this is why you wanna release the bigger perch. I was just testing out my hypothesis why I kept this one, but look, you can see all all these eggs right here just coming right out of the belly of the perch. I got them all. That's why you guys really want to release these breeder fish, especially this time of the year because they're all making the run up the rivers to spawn. So this is why from now on I'll be releasing the 
bigger perch too. And you can see all these eggs in here. If you see their belly's a little bloated, and you know it's about the time of year where they spawn, just wanna go ahead and release these fish because this is why all these eggs right in here. I mean, a little bit of guts obviously, but. All right, so back to fishing guys. I'm gonna prove my, prove my theory to you guys. These fish out here, these fat ones, this is what the belly should look like without the eggs, eh? Get back to fishing and hopefully catch some more, some non-breeders hopefully, but I'm not complaining. Great day so far. Yes, freaking hefty son of a gun. Oh, it's on the, oh, it's a catfish. Kidding me. Bigger catfish, biggest one of the day. Again, not sure what catfish these guys are. I think it's a channel catfish. Really, I have no idea. So, uh, called down on my little homemade rig. Grunting at me or something, but beautiful little fish. See you, girl, or guy. <laughs> there's a fish, there's a fish. go this one's super small if he's even on there anymore yeah smallest one today guys by far by far jeez dude look at the size of this perch holy crap i don't even know if this is a freaking white perch this should be great live bait actually but i don't bring any bigger setups to toss it out on but look at the size of that tiny perch dude all right toss it back see you bub all right guys it's a wrap for this video the rain is really starting to pick up well it's starting to rain again we've had like not a lot of rain for a long time, so. And the bite really just slowed down, so we're gonna be calling it a day right now. They haven't got a bite in like 25 minutes. Uh, the rain, you can see behind me, is blowing across the uh, the lake or whatever, the bay, the river. Um, but yeah, great day. Caught a bunch of little perch. Um, three nice eaters, four nice eaters, released one of them and tested the other one to see if they were in fact pregnant, and they were. So I was right with that. Um, also caught a surprise striper, which really threw a wrench into things, but it was just a ton of fun to catch anyway. Um, these catfish were also a blast to catch, even though I didn't keep them. But um, yeah, just a great day. Two hours I was out here and I caught all those little guys. Don't know what the total count was. I don't think I caught any new species, but gonna be reeling up our rods now, guys. Hopefully we have a lot more fishing sessions to come this week. A lot more videos um, from spring break that you guys will see, so. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video.